Do you think it's respect to cut their throat? Uh, you want us to be a vegan. That would be haram? Yeah. KFC. You can't trust them. Torturing these animals, putting a halal stamp on it, selling it to Muslims. Nothing godly about that. This is what happens in slaughterhouses. This. They're trying to escape. Do you think it's funny? Do you think it's funny? This is just automatically halal. Why? You're bringing the cruel this way. How is it cruel if you don't care? If there is a god, and they know we're doing this, that they knew that we knew, we didn't do nothing about it, then we'd be judged. It's quite bad, isn't it? Have you seen this before? Do you know what it is? This is how animals are treated in the UK for, for meat, dairy, eggs. Where are you from? Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan? Yeah. Kazakhstan is a Muslim, Muslim country, yeah. I think. This is a gas chamber here. They put the pigs in this gas chamber, they got CO2 gas in there and they suffer. Eat pigs. Yeah, you're Muslim? Muslim? Both Muslim? We're not just speaking up for pigs, we, we're basically uh, showing people what happens in farms and abattoirs, slaughterhouses, or otherwise known as a murder factory. Asking people not to pay for it, right, really. Uh, so, chicken? Chickens, okay. Chickens come from, exactly, I know. That's fine, I used to eat chickens too, so we've got to eat chickens for 26 years, man. I used to eat chicken three times like a day. It. Yeah, I used to like the taste of it, but then I seen what happens to chickens, right? Nowadays, they're selectively bred to grow like four times faster than they did in the 50s, so they grow so big they can't support their own body weight. Yeah. So they break their legs and they splay their legs and they lay on the ground in the factory farms. Tell me about a little bit how an animal's supposed to be treated in order for it to be halal. So obviously we can't torture them with anything. We just have to make sure when they're sacrificed, you don't torture them. Um, like I heard that there's uh, some people that um, electrocute animals for some reason. Um, we can't actually do that. We just have to make sure uh, when we're sacrificing them, they're treated quite well. They can't see each other be slaughtered. Mm -hmm. They have to use a super sharp knife. They have to say a prayer. Yeah, we have to say a prayer. Bismillah, is it? They slash their throat open mm -hmm. and uh, let them bleed out on the floor. Without the pain, like... There is pain when you slit throat. There is pain. When you have a knife and you cut your skin, there is pain. Yes. If you do it quick, there's still pain. When you choke on blood, there is suffering. They do stun halal animals here, did you know that? So only a certain percentage of sheep are non-stun halal. So in the UK here, you're getting sheep that have been electrocuted. And chickens are also electrically bathed here in the UK. Because slashing the throat, RSPCA investigated causes prolonged suffering up to a minute. They've made it a requirement that they stun halal animals here. It's quite bad, isn't it? We're respecting Do you think it's respect to cut their throat? Is this respect? Yes. I don't understand, I guess. I don't understand respect. Yeah, in Muslim, is they allowed? No, but I know what halal slaughter is. I speak to Muslims all the time. There's two discussions to be had. One, what about how they're raised mm. in a farm? Most people don't get to see that part. Mm. What if they cause suffering and torture in the way that they're raised? That would be haram? Yeah. How is chicken from a factory farm in the UK? And I say this to all Muslims, not just you kids. I'm just saying, I'm saying, yeah, but what about the way they're raised? They're being caused cruelty. They're raised and they're dead. They're raised in a factory they're farm and they cause suffering, which is not halal. In the UK here, and when there's industrial animal agriculture, they're going to be causing cruelty to the animals, yeah? And you can never be in there to watch them be slaughtered because they happen behind closed doors, yeah? Chickens, for example, they're all factory farmed here in the UK, 100 percent. And they take those birds in a truck to a halal slaughterhouse. And it's behind closed doors. You know what's going on in there? Yeah, that's true. I mean, we've got some footage from the halal slaughterhouses and they're being slaughtered in front of each other, blood spraying out everywhere, T terrible, terrible. So you can never be certain. You go in the, these places, you leave cameras, and you come, and, and what comes out is, uh, this is what happens in slaughterhouses. This, they slash their throat open, they're flailing around, they're fully conscious, trying to breathe. Yes. I've been in a halal slaughterhouse before. Me. Is it, is it, team? it was worse. It was horrible. Even if you did a traditional, perfect halal method, yeah. is that justified when we don't need to nowadays? The halal standard, when was this written? Is it 1,000, 1,500? When? In the time of the Prophet, right? Things were so different. Man. Things have changed, haven't they? Like the world has progressed back then. They don't have technology, do they? So they deal with what they have and what do they have? A sharp knife? What they thought of how, what is the best way we can do this without with causing the least amount of suffering? And it's like, don't let the animals see each other, things like that, really sharp knife. They didn't have a gun. Now that we've progressed, we've had technology, we have alternatives. We have vegan food for alternatives. We don't have to actually sacrifice animals now. So these days, what, how do we justify it? Even in the eyes of God, considering all this, 
suffering is happening and it's needless now. What would be the most compassionate thing to do? If you have a choice, why would we choose to kill them? I understand if you've got no, ch no option, and you have to kill someone, you have to kill an animal, then you want to do it respectful as possible, yeah? Yes. But if you have a choice between plants and halal slaughter, why not choose plants? Ah, you want us to be a vegan? Not yes, animal? but because I don't want this to happen to the animals. No. If we don't have to like survive by doing this, and we can thrive being a vegan, why wouldn't we just be a vegan? It's the most compassionate choice, yeah? Because you won't get as much nutrition as you do when you eat chicken and meat. And what do you think's in chicken? You get nutrition. What kind of nutrition? Yeah, you get nutrition, but what is it the kind of nutrition you can't get from plants? From beans and legumes and tofu and vegan meat and... It's vegan meat's not the same as normal. Name a vitamin that you'd be concerned with. Vitamin... I don't know, I'm not... I'm not That's right, so brother. No, you don't I'm know. You don't know. you don't know, you're not a scientist. You know, well, uh, the only thing probably would probably be vitamin B12 or something. Yeah, that's the, I need vitamin B12. Yeah, you can, what, what do you think, where do you think you should get it? Do you think you should get it from a, a supplement or do you think you should stab a chicken to death for it? What do you think is a better option? You get more of it when you get a chicken. Yeah, you get more of it from a supplement. You can dose it correctly as well. Isn't that longer? It's easier. Just take a take a supplement once a week or once every couple of days. Yeah, but it's longer Simple. to make that supplement. Oh, take two seconds to walk in the shop and buy it. And anyway, like a lot of plant-based foods, fortified with B12, and you know they give they give B12 supplements to chickens anyway. So you're just really eating a recycled supplement when you eat a chicken, because they're in factories, aren't they? They're not actually on the soil getting B12 from the ground. And how do you get fruit in? Yeah, yeah, that's the protein. Show me your arm. Show me your arm. I'm not. Okay, great. So you reckon where do I get my protein? Feel my arm. You've been training for a long time. Feel my arm. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Ah, well, I should have no arm. Should I? If I didn't have protein, I should have no arm, right? Should be no muscle connected to my arm. Should all have like dissolved. I've been vegan nearly ten years. All nine essential amino acids are found in all plant foods. So even even lettuce will have all the amino acids, but it will just be low in protein. So you can get beans, legumes, tofu. Uh, seitan, which is super high in protein, actually, it's like 80% protein. Seitan. What do you think of the mock up meats in like McDonald's? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. Good. Go for it. Yeah, I don't like that. Who goes into McDonald's for health? Do you? Do you go, oh man, I want a Maccas for my health? Do you go into Maccas because you want a burger? True. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when you want a vegan burger, you don't go, oh, it's not healthy. But I think, I think it's. A yeah, trust me, you might need to be a bit. And just like, having a lot of that one and chemicals is a bit different. Then why do you go into Maccas to begin with? I don't. So you, want you don't? He does. So you must be healthy as yeah. You don't eat junk food ever? Never in my life, never, never. Had. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, before he came here, he was going to go to McDonald's and get Wait a second, is McDonald's have halal meat? Fish off the day. Yes. Ah, the fish. So let's talk about fish then, because do you believe fish feel pain? Yeah. Well, fish are tortured. Have you seen those big trawling boats that drag up the fish in a big net and then they drop them, they take them out of the ocean, which causes them suffering because they're suffocating? Imagine having like a thousand of your friends just squashing you on top of a boat. That's what happens to fish and they suffer and die on the deck of a boat or they get chucked into ice and or they get skinned and um, gutted while still conscious. I've seen that happen too. Fish suffer on boats all the time. They suffer to death. They get dragged out by big nets. But this is just automatically halal. Why? Our fish caused suffering before they're killed? I don't know. I'm not a fisherman. Well, you know, they can only breathe in water. Okay. When we take them out of the water, do they suffocate? Yeah. When you buy a fillet of fish, has that fish suffered? Yes. Okay, so if suffering is against halal guidelines, how come fish is halal? At the end of the day, if it's halal, I'm going to eat it. Yeah, but how was that halal? I don't feel for fish. So if I had a fish here and I was sticking a hot iron in their eyeball, you wouldn't feel, like, bad about it? No, I'm not really. Okay. Hey, Would you? Yeah. Would you tell me, hey, bro, stop, that's... What are you doing that for? But that's not... Would that's you tell me stop? Them? Yeah, I would. Okay. So, so you care? Is that how we kill them? That's not... No, I'm just asking him if he would care. You said I you don't care a fish. About the way um, you do it. Okay, exactly. So you care? Yeah. You're bringing... Okay. You're bringing you don't the, care. You're bringing the cruel this way. How is it cruel if you don't care? You said you don't feel for fish, so why is it cruel? They're trying to escape. Do you think it's funny? Do you think it's funny? We're not, we're not laughing. No, I'm asking. Some people do think it's funny. Some people laugh because they don't care. That's why I'm just genuinely... That's not, not, that's not why we're laughing. Because I've been doing it for years, like, and some people do genuinely don't care. So that's... And it's true. It's changed do you care? Do you care about animals? Do you? Yeah. yeah. Some people just don't care about animals. Because they don't have empathy. Vegan. I went vegan because I don't want to pay for this. When a fish eats another fish, don't they suffer? 
Yeah, yeah. Animals do lots of horrible things to each other, but we don't act okay. like animals, do we? Should we eat each other because fish eat each other? No, but fish are different to humans. Exactly, but should we act like animals act? You can't stop every single fish from eating. I'm prey. just talking to you two. Yeah. I'm not talking to fish. Who cares what we naturally are? Really? It's in human nature to kill each other. Yeah. All right? It comes and like kills your entire family. Oh, I'm 100 percent Watch me. Watch me defend my family with a gun and shoot someone in the head straight away if they try to touch my family, right? That's that's justified, right? Are you pro I'm pro self-defense. Even with, with with violent force, 100 percent But that's that's what I would call justified. But what we do to animals, they're innocent. They did nothing wrong. They didn't hurt anyone. They're not trying to attack my family. They're vulnerable beings. That's unjustified. Even the halal stamp, right? So you go and you look for something halal, right? So go to KFC. This is a halal KFC, right? Or I go in a supermarket, I see halal meat. Go to halal butcher, right? You don't know anything else except you trust the butcher. You trust KFC. I yeah. KFC. You can't trust them. You know, they're torturing these animals, putting a halal stamp on it, selling it to Muslims. And then because there's stamps on it, they think that everything's fine now. I think even if you ask them, they want to tell the truth, will they? Yeah, of course not, though. It's a business as well. You've got to remember, money's involved now. These animals are not just food, they're money. They're products. And this is God's creation. If God is all compassionate, all loving, there's nothing loving about this. Now, these animals have been, they've been taken away from their original form and they've been selectively bred to grow really fast or to be meat producers, you know, to produce milk and dairy and eggs and things like this. Those animals get slaughtered non-halal. They get caused suffering. And these are considered automatically halal. But there's all this suffering entailed by them, you know? Like, look at this. Cannibalism happens in, like, it's ubiquitous. It's happening everywhere. You will walk into these sheds, right? There'll be a sea of animals, right? Thou tens of thousands in there. You walk and there's a, one suffering to death, one dying on their face, one getting pecked alive by other chickens. They take them birds, halal slaughterhouse, halal stamp. Nothing godly about that. What does a bird do? It just flies and from people. What does a baby do? The baby grows. Baby can grow. What if the baby? What if the baby uh, had a terminal illness and they were going to die within a year? What does a baby do? Should we kill them? Okay. Eat them. But birds, they're all the same. Do, they, do you have to do something in order to have your life respected? Not really. Like if I had a bird here, they would experience pain. They can experience well-being. If they get some food, they feel happy. They feel content. They have their own like experience of the world. And it might not be the same as ours, but it's their own. They're not no, but they're mentally. Yeah, they, they might not be like intelligent. Yeah, they're not. You're not as intelligent as some people too. I'm not as intelligent as Elon Musk. But that doesn't mean our lives are worth different. So what matters more, intelligence or sentience in terms of morality? Intelligence. Intelligence. So I should have more rights if I'm smarter than you, yeah? Probably, yeah. Uh, so I should have more rights than all of you? Yeah, because we have more rights than all of you. I'm smarter than you because you're not vegan. <laughs> Yo, he's fair, he's fair. Yeah, yeah. I'm smarter than you because you're not vegan. So, you know, there's a McPlant there. Have you tried the McPlant from McDonald's? If there's an option that doesn't involve animals, why not eat that? Because McPlant. It different. Like it doesn't taste yeah. McPlant. Why not McPlant? It don't taste the same. Yeah, but you we think. enjoy eating that, no. It does pleasure because you taste as pleasure, yeah? Like, I get a. Yeah. I, I like it. I like it. Yeah. Does that justify the suffering? No. Okay. So, taste doesn't justify suffering, it's yeah. killing. Well, there you go, so you can't say it tastes good. But that's why you do it, but I'm not saying, I'm asking for that's justified. So you'd cut out your pleasure to, you'd risk your pleasure to... To help to someone help or animals. Animals. Yeah. So you not kill animals. Yeah, I know, of course. That doesn't matter to me. I still get pleasure, I still get, I can go to the, get the McPlant, tastes good. I can go get vegan ice cream, vegan this, vegan that. There's different opinions of what tastes good though. Some people- Exactly, like but I would change my taste if it means that animal don't get, uh, tortured and killed. Yeah. I changed my taste. Some people are more yeah. like heart to different animals' feelings. Yeah, um, I'm just asking if it's right or wrong. At the end of the day, it's wrong, but like it's your you, choice at the end of the day. You, exactly, you have a choice. So why would you choose to be cruel when you can be a vegan? I value my pleasure more than animals. Animals' lives. Yeah. At least you're honest. Do you value your pleasure more than animals? Okay. I can't change everyone. I can only make you think. I don't think we could do anything, can we? You can't stop me eating non-halal, right? Which is against your religion, but you can't, but, but what you do is you eat halal, right? So yeah. you, you, you're responsible for your actions is what I'm saying. So you can be a vegan Muslim, which is permissible and it's safer yeah. and it's completely fine. 
Now, I understand, like, it's permissible to eat meat and you can't go against God and you can't go against your religion and things like this, but you can be a vegan Muslim. Do you have vegan Kazakhstan? Yes, yeah, my vegan. father is a vegan. Your father is a vegan? Yeah. Wow, why? He doesn't like eating animals because of this. Respect. He just doesn't want Respect. Is he Muslim? Yeah. If there is a God, right, and they know we're doing this, and that they knew that we knew, we didn't do nothing about it, then we'd be judged. The day you meet God, you can say, look, I did what I felt was right. I didn't feel big this was right, you know? Yeah. It's my last one. So it just shows you, like, uh, vegan restaurants, where to eat. You don't have to worry. It's always, vegan is always halal unless it has uh, uh, alcohol. You don't have to worry. So That was informative. <laughs> it's good talking to you, brother. Good talking to you. Take care. Uh, thank you. See you later.